everybody, welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. This is a real upload of one of my other tutorials because one of the audio files decided not to work. Anyways, this is how you install new fonts into your game. Firstly, let's take a look at where the font is stored in the game system. It's in System 2, and these are the two fonts you need to worry about. Don't worry, this accepts any font format. WAF or TTF, I don't care, it still works. Anyway, before we get started, we need to install the font we want. Let's go onto the internet and look for a website we can use. Alright, I opened up my browser, and we're going to type in any font site you want. I'm going to use the font, if I could spell it right. Ah, this is the site. I used this in my digital media class too. Anyway, before we begin, I suggest you get a monospaced font just to prevent typing issues. It will make it easier for you to write stuff. Anyway, let's look for a, let's look for that type of font. We're going to look at how let's see. Basic fixed width. I don't care if you use serif or sans serif, it's all based on your design choices. Anyway, look at the tags on each font. If you want to use it for a commercial project, always look for a 100% free thing. So, what you would do is click download. Now next, we need to get the font into the file. So the game. So, we're going to copy this, and next we're going to go to our games folder. For this, I'm going to use my Smash RPG that I've been working on. And we're going to click on the fonts folder and then paste it here. Hmm, it appears that I forgot that I had a font here. And no biggie, I can still use this. All right, I'm gonna close this, close my browser, and then go to my game. Oh, and in case you need to make sure you get the name right, you will need to type the file name exactly how it is in the file. Oh, uh, wait, wrong one. No, not that. So. We're going to go into the events, or, no, not the events, the database. Yes, that's what it is. And we're going to type the name of the font in the thing. Make sure it's the one that we want, though. You can use multiple fonts if you want. That's why there's one font, and there's one there's, there's two slots of fonts. Yes, that's what I meant. Okay, if I don't misword this, RMMZ, my Smash RPG, fonts. Okay, next, we're going to click on F2. We're going to click on F2 to rename. Now, uh, hmm. Now we're going to copy this name and paste it here. Now, let's just make sure that it works. If the console fails to load, if the console fails to load, the if the console fails to load the right name of font, it will just crash, and will refuse to run. Now let's go back into no, not that. Let's go back into the database and try again. So an open type font file is OTF, if I remember correctly. Let me just uh, double check on my browser. Open. The open type font file is OTF. Yes, that's what it is. Now let's make sure that it actually runs. All right, it runs. Now, here's one thing to note with these fonts. The main font is the font for every piece of text in the game. The number font file name is the number for the damage numbers, the HP numbers, and the stat numbers. So. Let's change this also to this font for reference. Now we're going to load our game again. And now let's look at the menu. See these numbers are different? That's what happens when you change the files for the fonts. This should be simple enough, and, and I hope you enjoy this. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Stay, stay learning.